What's up guys, another bomb aka exciting leak of P40 is here. We all know the history of Huawei's P and Mate series, they both were different at the time, Mate was like a proper everything packed flagship, overall like a balanced flagship, whereas P was about camera. But for past couple of years, things have changed a lot, both Huawei's P and Mate competing with each other and beating its own last generation model. Even though they both pack different different camera setups, different different focal lengths, but the next model beats the previous one in its own way. You guys remember, Huawei was the first company started bigger camera sensors, higher megapixels in flagships and increasing the amount of cameras. And it looks like Huawei has once again made a big move when it comes to camera. We already know with the P40 Pro, Huawei will be using a newer camera sensor from Sony which is actually going to be a custom sensor built only for Huawei. We've also heard that this custom sensor is set to be the 52 megapixel one with a bigger sensor size to compete with the likes of Samsung or Oppo. But now we have details about this sensor showing that it's going to be even bigger than the current ones. Samsung has used the biggest camera sensor in a smartphone with a sensor size of 1 by 1.3 inches whereas Huawei will be using even bigger coming at 1 by 1.28 inches. It's not big by a very huge margin but still it is bigger than what we have with the S20 Ultra. Again the impact of this bigger sensor on the camera results will not be that much massive. It's all up to Huawei's software how Huawei will handle that much of information coming from the biggest sensor in a smartphone. Furthermore, it's not gonna shoot photos at full 52 megapixel resolution. Yeah, you'll have an option to do that, but it's gonna use pixel bending of 4 into 1 and taking shots of 13 megapixel resolution in default state. And speaking of some advanced levels, so this sensor is also capable of bending 16 pixels into 1. Galaxy S20 Ultra uses 9 into 1 non bending but this sensor is capable of merging 16 pixels into one and making the world's largest pixel size in a smartphone of 4.48 micrometer. That's even double the size of what we have with the Galaxy S20 Ultra. But when it will be using this hexadeca binning, then resolution of images will be just 3.25 megapixel, which is very low. But I think 4.4 micrometer pixels captures really great shots that we don't need to crop in and zoom in things. Maybe they will be using this hexadeca binning in night mode shots to get more information at night time. There is also a list of other cameras in P40 Pro. The another camera is a 40 megapixel ultra wide Cine camera. It's a modified version of ultra wide camera in the Mate 30 Pro with a sensor size of 1 by 1.5 inches and with RGGB. It's also a video camera aka Cine camera and the benefit of using an ultra wide camera while recording video is that you will get better stabilization, something that almost every company is doing right now. Then we have a 3 times optical telephoto zoom sensor. It is there to close the gap between the 1x zoom and a proper 10x optical zoom. Yes, there is also an another camera which is a dual prism periscope zoom. We have just seen a single prism lenses in smartphones yet and wow is literally going insane 10x optical level by the help of this dual prisms behind the scenes. I'm really excited to see how this dual prism actually works behind the scenes. Also we have a time of flight sensor, LED flash, color temperature sensor and microphone. This is actually a very amazing hardware but we have to wait and see what Huawei will bring in software size. And speaking of the software, so Huawei is once again here to surprise. They are giving app developers a full 100% of any revenue earned in a first year. And not only this, even in the second and third year, the share that Huawei is giving to developers is still very high than what developers get in Play Store and App Store. So definitely, Huawei is doing their best. In software sites, they are fully ready to give full 100% revenue to developers and in hardware things, specifically the camera hardware of P40 Pro, they are just going insane. But let's see what more will come. So make sure to like and subscribe. Stay happy and yeah, see you in the next one.